Hello to all KSET 2026 aspirants and if you are preparing for KSET 2026, most of the time the doubt that comes to your mind is that what book should I follow? If I uh, follow from uh, this textbook or the textbook my friends are asking me or some textbook is uh, referred by my teacher and every, every person you ask they will tell you different names for your KSET 2026 preparation. And and during my live classes and the comment section of my videos I request I receive this request sir what book is to follow or sir I am following this book if it is sufficient for cassette or not so today I am going to discuss all the resources which are must for your cassette 2026 preparation as well as the books that you can optionally include in your cassette 2026 preparation based on your time available time and based on your interest you can include some of those books into your books or resources into your uh, daily routine now remember that KSA 2026 uh, exam uh, is a little bit far away but you have to start your preparation right now if you are not starting your preparation right now you are falling behind and every time you will ask me sir I uh, if I start today will I be able to score uh, le less than 1000 rank and again six months later on you will be asking same question sir if I start today can I score less than 50,000 rank and and just the day before exam you will ask me sir if I start now can I score below 1 lakh rank now if you can imagine that if you are saying this can I start today can I start today can I start today so you have to start sometime right so if you are starting now start uh, today itself and don't wait longer longer you wait your rank will be falling behind and you will all, always you will also realize that okay I may not be able to score well in the exam right so let us start with the first basic things that you must remember uh, about your case set exam that why you should not refer to multiple books so every time I uh, see students they are following I sir I am I have all the books I uh, available in the market will I be able to score less than 1k no the answer is directly no there is a idiom in English okay those who know that too many cooks spoil the food for example if you are trying to cook uh, something for your uh, family member suppose you are cooking dal in your home now you are cooking dal suddenly your uh, sister or your brother came and he said okay uh, let me add the salt he added three to four tablespoons of salt and then your sister or your friend came and he said okay let me add more salt to it uh, so he also added one spoon of salt and then someone else came uh, they added added sugar into it someone else came they added something else into it so the after uh, entire cooking process is over the dal will not be able to consume by anyone because it is too salty too sweet and has a completely different kind of taste which is not suitable right so too many cooks spoil the food so do not follow too many books you have to select a few books or uh, um, study materials from where you have to study second point is focus focus your mind if you are studying from too many books what happens today you are studying from one book okay suppose you are studying from NCRT today and then you saw that your friend who is a class topper he is following some ABC book so you went there and you purchased that ABC book and now you have completely forgot about your NCRT book and you started studying from ABC book then you realize that this ABC book is too hard for you to understand then you went to the market and purchased another XYZ book okay and then you came back to your home and now you started studying XYZ book now that XYZ book is completely non-sufficient, not sufficient for KSET exam. It was very thin. Uh, in fact, I have seen some books, they have all four subjects in less than 100 pages. All four subjects, physics, chemistry, maths, biology, less than 100 pages, which is completely not sufficient, not even for your PU board exams. And students studying from that and they score uh, very badly in PU board as well as in KSET exam and then they come crying, sir, I studied from this book but I failed right so don't do that don't uh, every day you feel difficulty don't change your book you have to stick to few of the good books secondly and thirdly 
targeted learning so if you are uh, for example the example i gave you that where a student is studying from multiple books so you started current electricity in one of the books you purchased another book you were again studying the current electricity chapter you purchased the third book you again start uh, studying the current electricity chapter so maybe your current electricity is done but what about the other chapters you have you have not studied any other chapters so basically you are not targeting your um, study so if you are following one book then you have a target today i have to complete current electricity tomorrow i will go for moving charges and magnetism then i will go for magnetism and matter so you have a target in your mind but if you are not a uh, target you are not following the target then you are losing out with all the other students who are studying in a targeted mode or also in focused mode clear all misconceptions and doubts so i have uh, seen that the books Speci uh, specifically the books that are available in the market right now right today they first of all the authors they have written a very good job i do uh, don't doubt any of the authors but the editors those who are editing the books what they do they forget to uh, delete some portions which are already deleted from the syllabus or include some portions which are currently part of the syllabus so the editing is a big challenge right so the editors who are editing the books they they often ignore these things they think okay uh, if the students study something extra uh, it will not harm them but what happens to you ultimately is that uh, you don't realize that these portions are currently deleted and you following on that waste your time on that so that's how you lose your focus you lose your confidence level as well so uh, you have some misconception or any doubts uh, uh, different books treat them differently and these uh, things keep on developing in your mind whether i have to study this or i have to study this what should i follow so don't follow uh, don't fall for this trap right this is a trap system overload obviously if you study for multiple books your brain will uh, completely freeze and you will uh, start hating the subject you will hate physics or chemistry or maths or biology whatever subjects from where you are studying from multiple books you will slowly start hating that subject and you will say uh, this uh, branch is not for me perhaps i will go and do some journalism course or something else so basically even if you had potential you slowly 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 start losing your focus and your system gets overload so don't go into the overload mode now net last question first of all ask yourself do i have the time to uh, study from multiple books right you have in the morning you have to go to your college attend the college attend the study hours come back to home do the self study uh, finish the homework and then whatever time you get from that you are doing the uh, extra study for case it right that's how you your life is going on now do you have the time to study from multiple books absolutely no absolutely no so follow at least few books uh, but uh, first of all i will recommend what are all the books that i will recommend first recommendation is the ncrt textbook my first and main recommendation is your ncrt textbooks do not ignore ncrt textbook read it line by line try to understand the concept line by line right so this is the ma major major uh, resource for your case set exam and also the edition check out for the edition it should be 2023 20, and onwards so that the syllabus change happened so that you get the latest book uh, you will see that uh, syllabus change happened sometime during 2022 and then from 2023 onwards it is uh, mentioned 2023 reprinted okay so you have to check that whether it is 2023 edition 2024 2025 is fine but uh, it should be 2023 and uh, 2024 2025 not 2021 or 2022 2022 there are two versions one is older one is newer so be careful 2022 try to avoid from 2023 onwards all the books are latest and current uh, things are there and if you have any doubt you can go to ncrt website and download the pdf for absolutely free it is available but if you are not someone who is very comfortable reading from your laptop or computer uh, you are someone who like to read from hard copy then uh, look for 2023 edition right 
Now, what else I recommend? The major recommendation is NCRT textbook and obviously uh, the previous year question papers. Uh, previous year question papers, at least three years, you have to uh, start studying. Okay, whenever you solve question, at least three years, right now. Later on, the number will increase. Later on, I will recommend more number of papers, but right now, at least three years of PYQs, you have to complete. Okay, PYQ books are available in market. Uh, there are multiple PYQ books. Uh, you can purchase any one of them and at least try three years of previous year questions and try to do it chapter wise. So, if you have uh, completed electric field chapter, uh, solve the three year PYQs, which will be around 15 uh, PYQs. You have to solve them right now as soon as your electricity chapter is over, right? Now, let us do a summary of entire thing what we are uh, uh, talking about so far. So, NCRT physics book is must, okay, there is no option physics NCRT textbook, you have to complete every pages completely. Number two, NCRT exemplar book. So, this is an optional textbook. If you uh, have this book, very good. If you don't have, you can download it from website. But if you don't want to uh, invest in that, you, you can skip this. It is not completely necessary, but it is optional. If you have this book during your exam, uh, during just few uh, uh, weeks or few months before exam, uh, if you want to practice some questions, this is a good uh, resource. Uh, it is uh, published by NCRT. So, the course cost is not very high uh, if you are purchasing and it is absolutely available for free to download as a PDF version from the uh, NCRT website. 10 years PYQ books, uh, 10 years PYQ books, so as, as for now I am uh, saying 3 years you have to practice, but 3 year PYQ books are not available in the market, uh, it is 10, 10 years, 11 years, 12 years like that PYQs are available, so you purchase one 10 year PYQ book, uh, this is also very very must, uh, right now focus on 3 years, slowly you have to increase the number to 5 years, then ultimately to 10 years, so 10 year PYQs are uh, must, in case it, there are a lot of cases questions are being repeated not directly but concept wise and uh, problems with the different values different diagrams uh, same concept asked in a another way so uh, there is a lot of repetition happens in uh, case exams you understand the PYQs understand the question pattern you have to solve more and more PYQs obviously our Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel we are doing a lot of series for case yet our channel is mainly focused for case yet. So, uh, follow our channel and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then definitely I want, uh, I want uh, like to uh, subscribe uh, our channel and also you have to uh, like this video and join our WhatsApp channel there. We are uh, discussing the uh, latest topics and sharing the class notes, etc. And lastly, uh, MTG K set book, it is available, it is very uh, fat book, uh, mainly for quick revision of uh, K, -set ex uh, K set topics, it does not de uh, cover a theory in detail, but it has a very good summary as well as lot of practice questions, practicing questions are important, so you can practice from if you have time. If you have a little bit extra money, you can purchase this K set uh, book. Uh, there is a uh, if you purchase all four books physics, chemistry, maths, bio, or physics, chemistry, maths, there is a slight discount, I think. Otherwise, this book is not super cheap, not super expensive. So, if you have that money, you can purchase uh, the, this book from uh, uh, it is available in Amazon and Flipkart or in the uh, latest bookstore near you. That, but that is optional, that is not my recommendation and this is not a um, uh, promotional video as well. So, they, they are not paying us any money for uh, 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 naming this book. So, this is just uh, my recommendation from uh, discussion with last year case toppers. They said that M MTG book helped them. So, that is why I am recommending this book to all of you. If you have time, maybe not now, maybe before exam, you can purchase this book and practice little bit more questions from this book. And with this note, I like to uh, end this video. And uh, if you, are, as uh, as I said, if you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And I will be back with more such videos very soon. Till then, bye.